And so what do you do if you're the other candidates? Let's say you're Marco Rubio, and we'll play a little bit south of Marco Rubio. You know your time is limited, and you know you're struggling. So you want to make a key biographical point and some sort of a key thematic point, whether it's a policy point or why you think you're better. Uh, let's listen to Marco Rubio. Here's a bit of a warm-up yesterday in Cleveland. I didn't run for office believing that this was owed to me, that I was the next person in line, that somehow it was my turn. So that's, you could say that's a shot at Hillary Clinton, or you could say that's a shot at the fellow Floridian, Jeb Bush. Right. Mark Rubio can't disappear, and that's going to be his biggest challenge in a field that has a lot of personality. Right. So you're, you're absolutely right. He's got to make some strong points, and he has to show the reviewers why he's there, why he's on that stage. And John, you have Marco Rubio, who has a little bit disappeared over the summer. Rand Paul, who last year he was the most interesting politician in America. This summer he's kind of been on a milk carton. Uh, the rising star in his home state, John Kasich, who's gone from nowhere in this race to earning that spot on the debate stage. So everybody, I guess, has a slightly different calculation. No question at all. And I think uh, Scott Walker, the person who will be standing on the other side of Donald Trump, right. I think he has a fairly high burden. Mm -hmm. He right. has won election after election in Wisconsin, but we've not seen him perform on the national stage. So the challenge of being a governor always is right. sort of, you know, uh, talking about foreign affairs, other you know, domestic issues outside of your home state. Marco Rubio has been running for a long time. All of his policy speeches that he's been uh, giving over the last year or so, all that helps tonight because that is preparation. But if you're John Kasich, he's a fairly new candidate still, and Scott Walker's still a fairly new candidate. So I think Marco Rubio is, uh, has, an, has an easier task. Well, with Scott Walker, we've also seen he's not that great on his feet. He right. can be thrown off uh, right. fairly easily by a tough question. So that's, it, that's going to be his biggest challenge, is to not say something that he ends up trying to clean up later. And it never goes as you expect. So we're going to see who's nimble and who's not in the right. debate tonight. Mm -hmm. That's one thing we will learn.